The traditional medical system, particularly for dermatology, has often taught diseases in terms of what they look like in lighter skin types. And so, you know, if you look in a lot of our traditional textbooks, there are some images of patients of color, but they are certainly more limited. And so because of that, you know, physicians and medical students have been getting trained for decades predominantly on lighter skin types. And so this has led to um, concern for something called representative bias, where when a provider sees a disease, they think of it in the way that they learned it when they were in medical school or in training. And so if they never saw it in darker skin type, they may miss it because they're just thinking of the disease as being representative of what they previously knew. Now, in skin of color, rashes can look very different. And it's really the optics of color. So if you have red on a white background, it looks red. When you have red on a brown background, it looks like a deep brown and you need to train in that. So we collect the spectrum of disease, not just the classic, but all the variation, mild versus severe, early versus late, light skin, dark skin, young, old. So we worked with the world's leading experts that submit imagery to us, and we've been doing this for over 20 years. And so with a tool like Visual DX, it's so powerful because it has thousands of diseases with medical information that's been vetted by board certified physicians and thousands of images, a third of which are in skin of color populations. And what that means is that if you've never seen a disease in a darker skin person, something like melanoma or psoriasis, you can learn it virtually through these tools. And so when it does happen to come through your door, you don't miss that diagnosis. Some of these diagnoses can be life-threatening. There are infectious diseases that can present with skin changes. And if those skin changes are on dark skin, it can be very, very subtle. We have to train to that. We have to train to the subtlety and train to the differences. We brought together the world's best medical image collection with intelligent search and a user-friendly interface so that we can speed decisions in the exam room in seconds. They can show the patient exactly what disease they have and they can show it to them, you know, in a patient that looks like them. Through seeing it exemplified in someone like them can be very powerful in improving patient engagement, improving patient rapport, and that's really what this is all about, right? Big picture wise, we want to improve medicine's ability to address care and treatment for everybody so that we can really improve healthcare disparities and reach our end goal of healthcare equity for all people. So we develop Project Impact really as a community to get people involved, to start talking about how do we innovate in medical education and how do we improve the exam room interaction so it's unbiased and we're delivering the best care possible. So there's really this engagement of a community and getting people together to have a conversation. And out of these conversations, we learn. We aspire to work with you to create those next generation tools that are elegant, that are accurate, that are precise, that are easy to use, and actually help you deliver better care. And that's really the goal of technology, is to enable better care. We want people of color to know that we care and that we are working hard to make a difference, to address healthcare disparities, and to improve health equity. Each of us on an individual level can make a difference with the patients we see. By becoming aware of gaps in our own knowledge and biases that we may have, we can begin to become part of the solution.